hello uh, welcome to this lecture so this lecture is again a part of uh, our topic design of compression member so this time we will uh, i mean in this lecture we are going to study about the batten system and batten system is again uh, related to the built up section so when we are designing built up section uh, column in that case uh, we are supposed to uh, design batten system also now why we design batten system because uh, to connect the main component of the built up column we uh, either used lacing system or batten system so in the previous lecture i have uh, discussed and i have solved a problem on uh, the lacing system so now in this lecture we are going to study about the batten system now in this uh, lecture first uh, we will see what are the general requirements of the batten system design as per is code and then we will see what are the design requirement and once we uh, understand the general and design requirement then we will try to solve a problem to understand the batten system now coming to the batten system so as i discussed in the previous lecture also batten systems or uh, batten plates they are generally uh, suitable for axial loaded axially loaded column only when it comes to eccentrically loaded column uh, batten system are not that much sufficient uh, efficient and that is why uh, they are not very much popular when it comes to uh, using the system which is which will be used for connecting the main component of the column so their uh, lacing system uh, along with the batten plates uh, may be used and that is found to be more efficient but uh, so that is why uh, batten system is limited to design or use for axially loaded column only and uh, in the batten system as batten uh, there are different cross sections there are different sections which are being used for, uh, such as uh, flats can be used uh, plates are very common uh, when we use batten system and uh, angles uh, sections channels i sections they are also sometime used but the most common section is plates now uh, if we talk about the i mean uh, in the diagram we can see uh, this is the batten system so in which uh, these vertical components they are the main component that are carry that will be carrying the axial load and to so that i mean to act these two components as a single unit we connect them using batten system or lacing system so this time we are going to discuss about the batten system in the second diagram you can see there is a combination of uh, lacing system and batten system and this is this is found to be more efficient and in most of the cases we use this system and uh, another system which is again related to the lacing system which is a double lacing system although in the previous lecture we have designed single lacing system but double lacing system can also be designed using the same uh, general requirement general discussion and uh, design consideration that i have discussed in the previous lecture now coming to the general requirements so general requirements uh, are given in this clause of is code so we can refer to this clause for uh, all the requirements that are being recommended by the is code now coming to this clause as per this clause so it says compression member composed of two main components two main components battened should preferably have their two main components of the same cross section and symmetrically disposed about their major axis so it says that when uh, we use a batten system so in that case the main component so in in the diagram these uh, channel sections are the main component and it says that they should be placed placed symmetrically which means uh, in the in the in the diagram we have used channel section like this or uh, we can use channel section like this also but we will never use channel section in this case like this so it will not be uh, as per the is code recommendation so ultimately we have to place our uh, main components such that they are symmetrically i mean they are very they are symmetric 
so now in the second point it says uh, where practicable the compression member the compression member should have a radius of gyration about the axis perpendicular to the plane of the baton not less than the radius of gyration about the axis in the plane of baton well uh, technically it is saying that uh, the same concept that we have used in the lacing system also that was also the requirement of lacing system that we should place our uh, main components such that the radius of gyration about y axis is not less than is not less than the radius of gyration about the z z axis so there you can see uh, the radius of gyration about this axis and radius of gyration about this axis they should be more or less same so that is the main requirement for lacing system design and for baton system design also so that point is same for both uh, lacing and uh, baton system now coming to the next clause it says the batons should be placed opposite to each other at each end of the member and points where the member is stayed in its length and shall as far as practicable be spaced and proportioned uniformly throughout so first of all it says that uh, if one baton is placed on this face then uh, the other baton will be placed on the opposite face so it should not be like uh, on one face we are providing the batons and on the other face we are not providing or we are not providing uh, them uniformly so if we are providing on this face four batons then four batons will be placed here at the same spacing uh, throughout the length so that is the requirement of is code the next requirement is number of batons so uh, now it is suggesting about the minimum number of batons which we can use in uh, while designing the built up column so it says number of batons shall be such that the member is divided into not less than 3 base within its actual length from center to center well what is base uh, for example this is the main component and this is the second component and to join them we are using these batons so now you can see here this is called bay so this is one baton this is second third fourth so this the first baton and the last baton they will be called and batons and all these uh, intermediate baton they will be called as intermediate baton intermediate batons so now there are three bases forming one two three and that is the requirement of the is code it says that we should provide number of batons such that there are at least three bases which means at least we need to provide two and batons obviously in all cases uh, there will be two and batons but there may be n number of intermediate batons but the minimum number of intermediate batons will be two this one and this one so at least four batons is to be provided in a built up column that is the requirement of the uh, is code so we can provide more than four but at least we need to provide four batons so that point i hope it is clear now coming to the next point the next requirement which is about the effective uh cylinderness ratio the same funda we have used in the previous lecture also which is about the lacing system so now it says i mean is code says that the cylinderness ratio that we will calculate for our column will be increased by 10% so this is again a requirement so whichever cylinderness ratio we calculate so for example if we calculate lambda by uh, kl by r so kl is the effective length and r is the radius of gyration so when we calculate this lambda we have to increase this lambda by 10% well why we are doing that by as we all know that as the value of lambda increases the strength or the buckling strength of the column will decrease 
so as uh, we are using the built up column and ultimately what we are doing is we are actually on the we are going to the conservative side so basically we are actually reducing the strength of uh, column in our design we are considering the the reduced strength of the column so ultimately we are on the safer side we are trying to be on the safer side and that is why we are increasing the uh, lambda value and for the lambda value the respective value of the fcd will also be decreased and ultimately the strength of the member will be de decreased well actually it is not decreasing but uh, in our design we are considering that reduced uh, strength to be on the uh, safer side so that was the general requirement so we will continue over this lecture in the next part thank you